Hello and welcome to blackfilm.com. I'm your host, Roger Carter. Today I have the pleasure of talking to action star and the original black superhero, I said it, Michael Jai White on his new movie, The Commando. Happy holidays, how are you, sir? I'm fine, yourself? I'm great, man. You look looking good. Thank you, thank you, feel good. Nice, so whew, this movie, man, uh, congrats. I love that this character had layers. And what I mean by that is, you know, you're a DEA agent with PTSD, you return home from a botched mission, and now you have to protect your family. So mm. how did you decide to take on a role like that? Why did you decide to take on a role like that? And uh, how did you prepare? Did you do any research at all? Well, yeah, I, I thought, you know, it always starts with the script. I thought it was well written, right? Uh, the, the thing is, I mean, I hadn't worked with the director before. You know, you, you, you talk to him and see if he's, you know, you know, if he's, uh, if you feel that they, they can visually bring, bring it all together and all the components are, are there. So there's always a risk with that. But I thought this, the writing was really good and the, the subject matter really touched me because, I mean, I'm very close to uh, several family members who were dealing with the same thing with PTSD. Um, it was quite close to me. So I, you know, I feel that these are really, I mean, unsung heroes to a large degree because they're forgotten in, in, in so much in, um, in, you know, in society. But uh, to play somebody who I consider a real superhero, I mean, anybody's superhero that that really has to overcome themselves and and have to do what they can to to uh, to combat their issues and and be there for their family, you know. And, and, and sometimes that's the that's almost everybody who has to brave uh, brave the the world to to do that. So I, I felt that this this movie was um was uh, it, it had its roots and some some real stuff. That that's what brought me to it. Was it more of your idea or the director's idea in terms of the layering of the character? Because I feel, you know, you're an action star, but there's so many scenes where you're just acting and getting dialogue. And I was like, oh, there we go. We got, we got an action star to finally get some dialogue. But that helps build the character and you feel like, you know, you, you know that person, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm an act, you know, I've always been an actor first, right? I. I I started on and off, you know, off Broadway. I was doing a lot of theater and stuff. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm an action star who's made his living as an actor, like, <laughs> which is is not a, you know, it's not usual because normally you go action star, you know, it's almost like porn. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know, you know, excuse excuse for the action, you know, that particular action. But no, I, I actually like when I first got established. I mean, really. Mike Tyson story, Spawn, all these different different things. It was of it was from acting, uh, you know, entirely actually. But the but once I ventured into doing martial arts stuff, then there's a narrative that people like to put you into, right? And like, look at the amazing work that Wesley Snipes has done for so much of his career. And then when he did Blade, he got kind of pigeonholed as a martial arts action guy, right? Which yeah. which he did far more of the other stuff. So, you know, I'm not to complain, it's a great problem to have. But yeah, if you lay if you lay it all out, I've done a lot more just legitimate acting than any any action stuff. But it's still there's a the, the connection is that I'm one of the, you know, one of the few people considered an action star. You know, I, I look at like my, my, uh, my hero in that this kind of genre is, is Harrison Ford, actually. Harrison oh, wow. Ford is probably the most prolific action star there ever has been when you think about it, right? But Harrison Ford is such an actor, he's not considered an action star because you think about the, the Stallones and Schwarzeneggers because that's all you think of them as. In, in a lot of ways, even though Stallone did Rocky, which is an amazing like acting work, but but it, it's like but when you look at Harrison Ford, I mean he's connected to the most successful action vehicles ever, but he's not considered an action star. That's the the way I always want to do to, to fuse the acting with the action, 
and um, sometimes make you forget that this is the guy who kicks people in the head. <laughs> so also, I, I want to discuss, there's a part of the film where you speak honestly about your character going through PTSD, right? Mm -hmm. And you actually look for help. I mean, how big is that? I thought that was huge for me, just seeing another brother, a black man. I don't think we talk about that enough. One, that we have a problem, and that two, to find help. So how big was that uh, for you to send that message? Oh, that, that, that's, that's probably the most important message of the whole movie. I mean, yeah, you, you'll entertain people, but sometimes you, you can you know, plant a seed that can help people in their lives. And this is a very real situation. I mean, we lose a lot of our heroes to uh, the fact that you know they don't you know seek help and 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 people don't really realize what they're going through. And I mean, this is your neighbor. I mean, these are people who's you know right around us. And you know, us, us as a community, uh, black folks, we're not we didn't grow up with the um, with that uh, idea of seeking help or therapy and all that type of stuff. It's like you know, we come from, you know, you got to be strong. You got to, you know, or, you, know you know, all that. And, um, you know, so it, it's, it's time that those of us who have these images, like, like myself, the big tough guy, uh, if the big tough guy can go and get help, maybe you can as well. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, two questions for you. Last two questions. I uh, have a little fun here. Uh, if you did find a million dollars in your house, would you keep it? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, where, where's, where's the trick? No, don't you, hey. <laughs> where's the hard like, part about that? Then, hey, you never know. You know, they might be coming back for it. So you're like, I don't care what's going to happen. You're taking it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect that to be so quick. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. And for me, I did mixed martial arts. I, I did uh, Taekwondo as a kid. And I did, I went to the Junior Olympics and one of my favorite movies was Best of the Best. And so for you, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you as, as a mixed martial arts specialist, what's your favorite all time uh, martial art film? No pressure. Into the Dragon. This is the Into wow. the Dragon shirt. I see, yeah. yeah. I would love a reboot of you playing the brother in that movie. Yeah, I, I, I have, I mean, I actually, yeah. I, I've actually talked to uh, <laughs> to um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I forget his name. The producer, uh, Joel Silver, years ago, and he loved my take on uh, Into the Dragon too. But then we kind of lost, uh, you know, lost connection. But I I have a take on Into the Dragon too, which I think would be amazing. But I'm gonna have to like you know, hopefully in the next few years I'll be able to revisit that. You got to put it out soon, brother, <laughs> with COVID. You oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, I want to thank my guest, Michael J. White. Uh, Commando Hits Theaters, digital and on demand, January 7th. Thank you again, All sir. Right. All right, thank Happy you. Happy holidays. <laughs> you too. If you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.